Hello, everyone. Welcome to Facebook. Now let's get started and we can open a can of imagination. So I'm going to start with a hermit crab. So we can get started with his shell. I think a orange and purple shell since those are the colors I have been inspired to grab. Will be great once I get the orange out. There we go. All right. And some purple. So we're going to start with the hermit crab's shell. And if there's, I was going to start with some purple and orange, but if you have other ideas of what I can add, why don't you let me know? But do it quick because I'm getting going on the shell. So what I'm starting with is making a snake shape. Doesn't need to be all that perfect. Uh, so just rolling that out. I'm gonna do the same thing with the purple. So we have those together and we're gonna make a nice swirled shell. So the way I do that is with the two shapes, kind of pinch them together and just twist them like so. And you don't need any tools for this part because you can just use your hands and then just kind of rolling that together you can uh, keep twisting it to figure out exactly the spacing that you would like. So hermit crabs live in side sort of conch and cone type shells. So we're going to make one of those. So we can start with one end and start spiraling that in like so. So here we have a shell. All right. And we're going to need a place for the hermit crab to live inside the shell. So just making a little bit of a space for that. So there's the hermit crab's shell. Uh, we're gonna get going on the crab himself. So I'll just clean up my workspace a little bit and put those over there. And if my assistants perhaps would like to grab some white and black, I think I'll use some of this red here to make the hermit crab. So we can get started on that. We're going to use the black to help the hermit crab have eyes and antennae and stuff like that. But since this shell might be too small for hermit crab soon, we're going to, I have a sequin, uh, make a nice vacancy sign. And then I'm going to hand that off to my assistants and they can help me out for time. So here's our sign. They're going to help fill it with information. And I'm going to just put that white aside for now. And I guess fans are looking for some baby blue. So why don't we use some baby blue for our hermit crab as well? Maybe give him some spots or something. Awesome, thank you. So we can get started making the hermit crab and he's got some legs, so we'll start with that. So 
There we go. And all I'm doing is making a cone shape that's tapered to a point on one end and just starting with a little bit of red to do that. So there we go. So I'm not sure 100% how many legs a hermit crab has, but it has a lot, so we'll make a few legs. There we go. Six probably seems like a good number because they also have claws. Maybe it's eight. I'm not a scientist. I'm a Play-Doh sculptor. There we go. So giving our buddy some legs. Oh, I hear it has ten legs. Why, thank you. And they kind of curl under. Just prop him up a little bit so his... So right now I have six legs. If my assistants can make me four more, that would be awesome. Prop that up a tiny bit more. Like that. All right. So we'll give him a face. Oh, actually, you know what? He needed some spots. All right. And an excellent suggestion just came in to add some teal to the shell. So we can get some teal. Awesome, thank you. And I'm gonna just keep adding a few spots to these legs. Maybe uh, my assistant here can add the spots for me. So that's all the legs. We'll get some, oh wait, no it's not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, one more leg. And then our hermit crab friend here needs a face. There's a nice hermit crab face. And now I'm going to just make the claw. Awesome. Lots and lots of little dots. And to make the claw, it's probably a really big claw. Maybe I'll make a slightly smaller claw. All right. There we go. So I'm going to just grab a nice tool to kind of make a line in it. You can use whatever you have. There's also spatulas and things. You just want something that's a tapered point that you can make a line with. There we go. So we can add some spots to the claws as well. I'll just finish putting some of those on the legs. All right, awesome. And definitely feel free to also sculpt along, make your crab look totally different because I want to see your ideas. Awesome, we have more. Ooh. add a few more dots to the crab. That's, you guys get the idea. And we're gonna add some teal to the shell. Just maybe some little stripes here and there, little squiggles.
over it. Get a few more of those and then That sign, I believe, is just about ready. Thank you. So we'll just stick that right on the shell, like so. And he needs to be able to use his claw, so I'm kinda, there we go. There's one. And I'm going to just use the end of this tool, but you can also use a popsicle stick that's a similar shape. And just squish that in like so. Give him one more claw. And I know with some crabs the claws are two different sizes, so it's totally fine if yours is two different sizes. Alright. Just add a couple more of these little dots. All right, that's pretty good. And same thing, just stick that on the side there. That looks pretty good. So I'll move some of those dots aside. And there we go. We can make him a very happy crab. We'll just give him a smile. All right, and then we'll give him some eyes. Ah, there are some eyes. There we go. That's pretty nice. There we go. Maybe some antennae because he needs those. Well, actually, I'm going to take his eyes off really fast. They will come back. All right. And Give him some antennae, like so, and we'll give him his eyes again. All right, and we have a few more stripes just to give him a little bit more detail, and then he'll be pretty close. Awesome, so there's our hermit crab. And hermit crabs are nocturnal, so it was really nice of him to join us today. All right, so here is our hermit crab. Just, I smushed his face, so let you guys see that from all angles. Ta da! Okay. All right. Thanks for joining me today. Bye!